Well, we won't know the final results until early December after a runoff in Georgia, but it's fair to say that the Democrats have performed better than was expected in these midterm elections. Nonetheless, the loss of the House of Representatives is a big blow to President Biden and is going to make his job far more challenging. For example, with recession increasingly feared, the president's going to have far less scope to come in with fiscal support, given the need to get Republicans on side as well. That means the onus is going to be on the Federal Reserve to cut interest rates once inflation is under control. Perhaps more significantly, a split Congress will make raising the debt ceiling much more challenging. This is the maximum amount the US government is allowed to borrow and has to be voted on in Congress to raise it. If it isn't raised in time, which we think is probably going to be about the third quarter of next year, the US government could end up defaulting on its debts. Now, we've been here many times before, of course, and sense has always prevailed, but these are highly partisan times, and many Republicans have argued that government should contribute directly to getting inflation lower. So we could see calls for spending cuts in return for voting to approve an increase in that debt ceiling level. Now, this, of course, is not something that President Biden will readily accept, and so we could see quite a lot of brinkmanship over this issue. Now, that risks part of government shutting down and also government borrowing costs rising until an agreement is reached. Now, if this happens when the US is in the middle of a recession, this could have very painful consequences for both the global economy and financial markets and be extremely damaging for the politicians directly involved.